Saturday here in Pennsylvania. Our bobcat and fisher season just started yesterday. It rained all day yesterday, so we decided not to set any traps yesterday. So it's Sunday today, about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to go out and maybe get about 6 or 8 traps in here this afternoon before this evening. We have a local landowner here that lets us trap on his ground, and we've caught two bobcats here over the past couple of years, so um, we've had decent success in here. We've caught a couple of foxes, but usually the stinking coyotes are in here, but we never get any of them. Not sure why, that's the one thing that's eluded us so far is coyotes, but one of these days we're going to get one, so we're going to go down here and put some traps in the ground. First trap of 2021 going in the ground. The stinkiest bucket ever. <laughs> Double insulated bucket. You gotta have it. Just to contain the smell. <laughs> Probably can't smell that for sure. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to. Yeah, you definitely don't want to. are just starting to get into trapping which I'm no professional by any means but caught my thumb once already today it's gonna happen and you just have to get used to it but when you're setting these traps in here if you flip up the opposite side of the jaw from the night latch at least if that trap snaps off and you're in here messing around it's only gonna close one jaw to that other jaw that's straight up and down so you have less of a chance of actually get in your fingers until you get this thing in here bedded in so you just get it in there pretty tight to where it feels like it won't rock and then you can always flip this jaw back down like that and then just touch on the corners of the jaws to get it tight and then you're gonna go ahead and bed it in as you normally would gusto <laughs> If you guys do any trapping or get into trapping, this stuff smells like a pure skunk coming out of a bottle. <laughs> I just got it. <laughs> yep. They'll smell this from a long ways away, which is what you want. But do not get it on your clothes or in your truck. You will have it there for a long time. It pretty much smells exactly the same as the time you got sprayed by a skunk. For sure. <laughs> Snap! <laughs> so if you guys have a place where you normally trap from year to year, which in a year we completely forgot about it, but I had a hole here. We've had a trap here for the last two or three years. Had a big rock over the hole 
And last year at the end of trapping season, all I did was I took my pliers and bent my chain out, left the anchors in the ground. So then today when I come in here, I flipped the rock over and was cleaning out the hole to get ready to pound new rebars in because I completely forgot about it. And my anchors are still in the ground, so all I had to do was hook my chain from my trap. So it saves you if you have a place that you're trapping from year to year. You can just leave your anchors in the ground. And then it's just less pounding rebars and everything in. As long as you remember. As long as you remember they're there, which... We think there might be one that we uh, left and added a new rebar to it. We'll have to check that sometime. There definitely was rebar there, for sure. Well, this is day two of checking traps. We had one sprung last night. Um, not sure what it was, but we'll reset it and then hope that something else comes back. Oh, yep, both feet in it. Definitely not what we were after, though. <laughs> Resetting where the possum was. Unfortunately, this is our second sprung trap of the day. Not what you want to be seeing. Two traps. Just doesn't seem to be right. Uh, trapping after Christmas in a short sleeve t-shirt. <laughs> Almost reset. <laughs> Not the target animal, of course, but I guess each one saves a few turkey eggs. It's nice and dark in color. Last one was super blonde. Well, we're back where Josh caught his coyote this morning and uh, resetting in that location. We know there was at least one coyote with it, so we're resetting and hoping maybe we'll catch the second one.